Hey, Kristen. How are you? Okay, so I'm um, just going to go through a few things here with everybody. Um, the first thing I wanted to remind everybody of is that we have our fall advance coming up in Huntsville at our studio on Saturday, October 12th. And that's going to be like from 10 a.m. And I think I said until 3. I need to double check that and see. But it is um, mainly going to be all about holiday. Um, it's going to be all about holiday. Um, let's see here. It's going to be all about getting ready for the holidays and holiday selling and how to maximize um, during the holidays. Um, you know, with your current clients, um, I'm going to have Alana to do um, some training with us on how she works with her clients who are out of town. And um, which I think that most all of us could benefit from because all of us have people that are out of town. So, um, so that's going to be on Saturday, October 12th. There is a registration fee. It's only $20, but that is going to cover all of the materials that I'll provide for you. And it will also cover your lunch that day as well. So it's going to be very fun. We're going to do a lot of interactive things and um, hopefully everybody can participate in that. So, and again, that is Saturday, October 12th at the studio. And um, there is the, um, the flyer is posted on our Facebook group page. So for our training tonight, we are going to talk about how to get more leads for your business. And I think everybody could get excited about that. And so, uh, of course, y'all know that Friday was uh, Mary Kay's 56th anniversary. And so um, did anybody do anything extraordinary to celebrate Mary Kay's 56th anniversary as a company? I just did sharing appointments on, on Friday. That was, um, um, that was what I did this week. So, or for Mary Kay's 56th anniversary. And so this week, what I want to challenge you guys to is to go out and get 56 new leads. And so what I want to do is talk about seven different ways of getting new leads. And so, um, you all can, you know, figure out which one works best for you. And um, I'll send out also a video that um, kind of gives some more, some detail in the different ways of getting um, the leads. So um, the first one that I was going to bring to mind for you guys um, would be, of course, you know, something that all of you all know about is the lead jars or the lead boxes. Um, does anybody have lead boxes out right now? Lead boxes out. I'm going to unmute you, Gracie, and would love for you to tell us where you got your boxes out and um, how many leads you've been able to collect from them and maybe what's been your best place, okay? Okay, Gracie, go right ahead. Oh, me? Yes. <laughs> oh, can you hear me? Yes, I can oh. hear you. Well, today was a very good day for me. I, okay. um, well, besides the fact that I had a couple of uh, morning doctor's appointments, I stopped off at my um, pharmacy and I had put a box there. And um, I noticed that there were some leads in there and it included um, the young woman. Yes. I think that's, that's, the, that's the pharmacist. And she was very excited and uh, along with another tech. And so I'm, I'm going to uh, set up a, a, a appointment, I think, for a facial for the people that work there to come and, and to do it. And they were very uh, excited. They were. That's awesome. And Great then I see that yeah, is so good. Yeah. Then I was out. Um, at a restaurant and um, one of the young women that were like, she, you know, clean uh, was, uh, you know, like with bus and clean up and, you know, and just help out around. We got to talking and um, 
so I approached her about the business. She said that when she, she, she was like, I mean, this woman, this young woman, or actually she's turning 40 very soon, but I'm telling you to meet her, I was like, you're turning 40, you know, she really looked wonderful. And, um, anyway, I got her information and uh, maybe she'll take another look. Cause she said she did it, I think a long time ago when she was in high school. So, um, and, um, you know, so, sometimes I, I find that little out of the way places, um, other than, uh, so, so, you know, like the um, nail, nail places are probably better because at the, a lot of, I, I, I find that at the nail places, I don't get too many, um, too many uh, leads, but like at restaurants and, you know, um, little mom and pop stores, it, they really seem to, it seems to work better. So. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> Can you hear me? That's yeah. really good to know, Gracie. Um, Gracie besides I... uh, restaurants and the little, okay, that is Remy. What? I was just saying, go ahead. I thought I had interrupted you. I was oh. interrupting you. Someone was interrupting the other one. Who's I was this? Gonna say I would oh. love for Gracie to kind of give us like a little glimpse into what she says and how she asks to put her lead boxes down oh when she um, approaches a manager or owner. I just yeah I just I I just go up and you know talk to them and just introduce myself and just say that I'm an independent consultant with um, Mary Kay and um, I would love to you know be able to uh, lead this lead box and you know, I'll t put a little sticker on the bottom and I tell them that um, uh, uh, if at any time that they need to contact me, um, you know, uh, the sticker, just call the sticker on the bottom. And mm -hmm. uh, also for, the, you know, I'll give a discount for the uh, people that work there. You know, mm, that's a good you know, idea. A little, yeah, a little discount or whatever if they, you know, um, uh, want to, you know, uh, uh, be a part of the beauty, you know, to have a beauty experience. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's been very scary. Cause I'm, you know, like I remember the first time I walked in and asked the salon was kind of, kind of small and the people were very close up and I was like totally <laughs> nervous that this woman was going to say no. And when she said, yes, I said, Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I, I was so shocked. I was like, okay, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Gracie, one more thing um, that is actually on the list to talk about. When you are out and about, um, a lot of times you talk to people just like you talk to the lady at the restaurant, but you've also talked to, you know, just people out and about, about getting together with you for a facial or a beauty experience. How do you typically start that conversation? Um, I guess I, you know, I just get up and start talking to them. I mean, you know, I say, hi, how are you doing? Um, it, it depends upon the situation. Um, like today, uh, she just started Actually, what happened was was that uh, I needed a, a outlet to um because my phone was dying or whatever, and you know um I'd asked her if there was any outlets around, and she you know she was very 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 uh, you know uh, very approachable, so we just started talking, and she started telling me some very personal things about herself, and I was like, wow, you know <laughs> um and then i you know I just kind of uh when she found the spot for me, you know, um, I, you know, went and then I said, look, um, and then I, you know, let me introduce myself. And then on the way out of the restaurant, this, um, um, actually, um, I was in one spot because I was there to meet someone and I met the person and they left and I decided to stay. Um, and so I wanted to move to a spot that had like a little, you know, outlet so that I could, um, plug you know plug my phone in and so she found the spot but then 
as I was leaving, uh, this man had came and he was taking the table, um, the booth across from me. But then he, you know, when, since I was leaving, he was going to take the table. So we started talking there. <laughs> and then I went and I got, you know, after the person I was to meet and I um, had gotten the young woman's um, information, you know, at first she was like, oh, give me your business card. And I was like, I says, okay. Um, but then I thought I really want her number. So when she came back, I says, why don't you give me your number? And I, you know, and I had a little goodie bag with me and I said, here, here's my business card with, you know, some, some little samples. And she was like, oh, I was going to ask you if you had any samples. And I, you know, I, I did, I tried to carry some with me. And so I got, she gave me her information and then I ended up uh, uh, calling her and then putting her information into my phone and uh, sending her a little text message. And um, so anyway, on the way out of the restaurant, I ran into the man again. He, he says, who are you with? And then I was like, well, I said, I'm an independent consultant for Mary Kay. And um, so then he introduced himself. He gave me his business card and stuff. And I was like, well, you know, we do have men, men's products. And so he says, yes, I know all about Mary Kay. <laughs> and, and, but he was telling me about his business, you know, which is very interesting. And I was like, okay. So uh, we exchanged business cards and stuff. And that was it. So I was like, that was the first time. Cause I was like, well, I'm hoping, you know, if anything, I, I can at least um, get him, you know, to try some of our men's, our men's line. So, but basically I just, talk to people and they for some reason which is you know I guess of lately has been kind of surprising to me I guess it's the vibes that you give off okay and so I, I just you know will we'll basically talk to them about little stuff and then I find my way in and um, I'll ask some questions like you know have you ever heard of Mary Kay um, do you have a consultant and if they say no I says well you know we do have a studio here in town and I'd like to um invite you, you know, for facial. And so that's basically it. Can you still hear me? Hello? I hear you. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was are, we, are we the only ones on the phone or are there more? I don't know. Let me see. Cause, um, yeah, I've Christy to... is not... I think Christy left apparently. <laughs> she might have got. She might have been driving through an area yeah, where she got she dropped got or something. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say she did warn us that her connection was spotty. Y'all don't mind me in my bonnet. I just got home from work. <laughs> no worries. No worries. No worries. I'm just gonna put that out there. I didn't even bother. To, I didn't even bother to put my picture up. I was like, oh god. I'm just trying to make the right face up because I'm like braless right now. So you're all good. <laughs> I mean, I still kept the makeup on. I just, you know, I'm relaxing right now. Well, yeah, yeah. it's important. Well, thank you for sharing, Gracie. That was like really awesome. And that's kind of one of the hardest skills to learn is the small talk. But it's, I've definitely met a lot of people surprisingly through small talk. Yeah. And um, normally, you know, for me, it, I had guess in the last few years, I really have grown because um, uh, when I first got in the business, I was so afraid, you know, uh, of rejection. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, you know, it was very hard, you know, for me to, to approach anyone. I mean, even, I mean, even now, I, I think I still struggle a little bit about the fact that I have to get up in front of people, but I'm like, the, the key is, is to really know, and which I'm still working on, is that, you know, uh, to learn your product and, um, you know, just to, just to basically be yourself when you get up there, you know? Yep. Uh, yep. So. Christy, are you back? I am back. Yay. I took a little, uh, <laughs> little trip away from you guys. Um, but anyway, Gracie, I really... I appreciate you for um, sharing, and I just feel like in the past couple of years, you know, as a Mary Kay consultant, you have grown tremendously, and your ability to just 
talk to people out like that is absolutely amazing. So good for you on that. And you're right. It's all about the small talk. It is, you know, you, you find your way in and sometimes, I mean, I've had people say, no, you know, I'm not interested. And I tell them, well, thank you for being very upfront with me and not, you know, because I, I find sometimes people will give you numbers because they don't want to say no. And then it's the wrong number, you know? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, Fran just popped in and I know Fran has got some uh, lead boxes around town and I know that she actually just pulled some from her locations and moved them to a different location and Fran we're talking about different ways of meeting new people and getting your name out there. Um, tell us about your experience of like where you had your lead boxes and wh why you moved them and where you moved them to. Okay, hello everybody. Hello. Um, my thing is is that um, I try to pick somewhere where there are ladies who feel like they they like pampering, you know, such as ladies that go get their nails done. They go, you know, they pay money to get their feet done. So these are the ladies that I wouldn't mind, um, you know, coming in to pay money for a nice uh, facial treatments or skincare treatments and makeup. So I go to hair salons, I go to nail salons, um i've picked um uh, and well and, and on, on another reason as i pick like places where people want free stuff um we you know we offer complimentary um pampering sessions and complimentary facials so um i go to like check cashing places with you know not the little hole in the wall checking and check you know check and check exchange or whatever but um like places like uh, check and go, um, advanced checking, you know, people that look like they got a little class as far as they take care of the office and, you know, the, and I guess the type of neighborhood they're in also. And um, so with some of the salons, I had an issue. I pulled a couple of my boxes. I put them there, you know, of course they told me, you know, I go in, I ask and, um, and I get permission and they let me, but then, um, one, I pulled because the, um, I don't know if she's the owner, manager, or whoever, but she was pretty rude to me, and um, and I just, you know, uh, I, I didn't like it. She, she saw me coming in. I came in and checked my boxes, and because I wasn't getting um, my nails done or whatnot, you know, she just kind of waved her hand at me with a rude manner, and... So I pulled my box from there because I don't want to be, I don't want to have to go in and deal with negative people like that. And, uh, um, you know, and if they're negative like that, they have that kind of negative business, then they may be also getting negative customers. So I don't really want to put myself in that position. And um, other places that I pull them from are places that I may have not gotten um, a good feedback. Um, you know, one place in New Market, which was way out, you know, so I guess they didn't get a lot of, they don't get a lot of customers. So I pulled it from there to move it to a more um, busier, sort of busier place. So that's kind of like uh, what I've been doing. And it, it's been good. Um, like I said, I moved over to the south side, um, this side, because I was mostly, um, I guess, uh, focusing on the north side and new market because it's closer to me, but I ventured out to, you know, get new customers and try to get a better uh, variety of customers. Um, customers I'm getting are really just after free stuff. And um, so I, and, and, you know, please no one get, I hope no one gets offended, but this is from the heart, but I seem to not be getting through to, um, to uh, colored, uh, African American um, females, you know, it's like they don't. I, I don't know if it's me. They're not taking to me. Maybe I'm just not putting it out there right. But it's mostly like 95% of my customers have been black, and it's not really taking me anywhere. So moving to the south side of Huntsville.
of customers, hopefully to get more um, Caucasian customers. And I, like I said, I hope no one takes offense to that, but um, you know, that's my strategy. Well, I think it, I think it depends upon um, who, because I've had parties where uh, both, you know, and um, they didn't purchase, which is fine because I'm still getting my, um, you know, um, I want to get it and I want to be exposed to a lot of many different people to get uh, the experience as far as dealing with different you know, use as far as color, you know, to, to be able to match your skins and stuff. Uh, I figure as time, you know, goes on, it doesn't matter the race, uh, the numbers and the money is going to come. But I also know that, um, that the better I get, uh, the more I'll be able to sell. Because, you know, you have that among everybody, you know, and if we say free facials, a lot of people you know, that's what they're expecting. Sometimes they'll, and, you know, and sometimes they won't, so. Right. And I appreciate that. Um, um, Oops, hold on a second. Right, I'm sorry, because I don't have you on my screen. Was that Gracie? Okay, yeah, I, I appreciate that, Gracie. And like I said, don't take me wrong, it's not the color. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 I know, I know that, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just telling you that, you know, we're all just starting out and, you're going to run into that, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> that, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And, you know, I I think part of it, too, is, like, where you put it and um, the economic circumstances of the area that you put it in. you got to take that into consideration. Yeah. So um, yeah. definitely mm -hmm. for sure. So we've talked about lead jars, we've talked about warm chatting. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy doing is honoring working women. And to me, this is one of the most fun things that I can possibly do. And um, that is going into businesses and uh, just walking in with a, a basket full of goodies and saying, hey, I'm here today just to honor working women and you're a woman and you're working and I have some amazing goodies for you. Could I possibly give you a goodie bag? And of course, everybody always says yes to mm -hmm. that. And um, so, and then I'll say, you know what, I'm also giving away, you know, beauty experiences and some products. I'd love to get your information so I could get you entered into the drawing. And so that is so much fun because these ladies just love being appreciated and um, it's very rare that somebody says no. And even if they don't want to go in the drawing, I still give them the goodie bag. And the goodie bag isn't really, it doesn't really have that much stuff in it. You can just put a couple little samples and maybe a couple little pieces of candy um, in there and put your business card and wrap it up super cute. And that is a fun little way of meeting some women who are professional and who are already working. So what are your all's thoughts on that? I've done that and it seems to, it seems to work. It seems to work. Yes. So did I, I, I have to, I have to not put the candy in though, because I'm having trouble with not eating it. No candy from Gracie. <laughs> And I went to um, a nursing home and I did it and I, I enjoyed it more than I almost forgot that I was there on business because, you know, just meeting the ladies and getting hugs and, and them appreciating it and seeing, you know, because I walked in and I, the first thing I did was met, met up with their supervisor and she wanted to walk me around and she was, um, you know, she go and introduce me. To the nurses so the first thing she told me was i'm glad you're here because the nurses never get appreciated you know around here they are just they're not appreciated enough so me going up to them and i mean they just fell in love with me i just loved it i mean right now i have several of them on my book and it's you know and it, it, it's really good and it was it, it's a place where my cousin works also so it kind of helped her because she said they can't keep talking they can't stop talking about me they might not be talking about mary Kay, but 
you know, they just love me to France. So, you know, it was it was an honor and it was it was stretching for me. So I really enjoyed it. And I plan to really do another one soon. Mm-hmm. That's a really great idea. Yeah, it is. I yeah. I love that idea. Um, I mean, to me, this is, that's my favorite, if I'm going to go out and meet people, that's my favorite thing to do, just to, like, appreciate people with that, but I had not thought about going to the nursing homes and, and uh, treating those nurses, because they, a lot of them are, like, LPNs or CNAs, and they don't get appreciated. And they should, because, especially working, you know, with the elderly, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. Christy? Christy, I'm sorry, um, but Go I got the idea from you, yes. Christy. I got the idea okay. from you before. When I first met you, I remember you saying, hey, we could, we could do a woman's appreciation or nurse's appreciation, and that stuck with me because my cousin, you know, she's she's a nurse, but I didn't even appreciate her because she didn't count. But, you know, everybody <laughs> else, <laughs> you know, so... And I thought that I was like, that's a great idea. And I did exactly what you, you know, what you suggested. I got the little cup with some candy and that's what they really, they were, they were, I was like, okay, these are like kids in the candy store, you know, and it was a nice little cute thing. And I, I just got them from the Dollar Tree and that's what made it so amazing for me that they appreciated, you know, something that cost me maybe a dollar fifty, you know, in whole or the package, you know, the candy and all of that. It was only like a dollar fifty per little cup that I had. And you know, I felt cheap, but they appreciated it. It was it was really nice. It was it's the ball that counts. Taylor, did you so much as a thought? Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. <laughs> so um, I that one at my job, I'd be super happy. Yes, exactly. Oh, you look super comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you, you knew the day that I had, you would understand. <laughs> Taylor is um, Taylor is a social worker in foster care system, and so as you all can imagine, that can be a very stressful job. So <laughs> I don't envy that at all. So, okay, so we talked about honoring working women. So we've got that one. And um, so I'm going to check that one off. So one of the other things that you guys can do, if you've got like friend, you've got kids in school. Um, and if you don't have kids in school, you probably know somebody who does, where you can partner with the school, like partner with the, um, the PTA or the PTO, whatever it's called these days. You can partner with the principal or whoever and see if you can go in and honor the teachers. And we have done that where we actually fed them lunch. And believe it or not, you can feed a lot of people lunch for very inexpensive. Um, You could do like the crock pot soups and stuff like that, that you can feed a lot of people on very little. And the teachers absolutely appreciate it. We gave them a little goodie bag. They registered for... Um, our giveaways and for the beauty experience. And that was a great way to meet a lot of new people as well. Mm -hmm. Fran, I know you've got two boys at Lee High Mm -hmm. and I'll bet you they would love for you to come there. Yes, I actually already invited um, to do something by uh, one of the, um, the, uh, she's a new attendant this year for Lee High. And um, I actually gave her and the coach, they got one of my little gift bags and they invited me to come through, which the attendant is supposed to be talking to the principal because I can't seem to catch him. But she's gonna talk to the principal for me and see something that I can set up. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a lunching or anything like that, but you know, we'll just see. But that is a great idea. Yeah, whatever it is, it will be amazing. And I think it's good to go like twice a year, like during the fall and then in the spring as well, because by the time teacher appreciation rolls around, they are on the verge of losing their mind. (laughs) So, grateful I'm not a school teacher. (laughs) So, um, and I know, you know, I think sometimes, you know, I've had some consultants just make the phone call. They have no connection to the school whatsoever. 
but they make the phone call and they make their way in. So, um, so I don't think you necessarily have to. Um, another thing that I was gonna uh, suggest to you guys is we've done Rose promos with restaurants before. And that's where mm -hmm. you partner with a restaurant and um, we hand out roses as the lady, we could do like a ladies day or a ladies night. And we handed out roses as they were coming in and we're honoring women. Um, you know, I usually attach a lip gloss sample or something like that to the rose and um, they can register for, you know, whatever it is we're giving away. It's always a beauty experience and typically maybe some product giveaways as well. So um, there are various restaurants in town that will partner with you to do that. Um, so, you know, just kind of look around, maybe some places you go on a regular basis where they recognize you, because um, we all have those places where they're like, oh yeah, we know exactly what you want <laughs> when you walk in the door. So, um, so those are great too. We've used the real roses, but we also, um, you can order the wooden roses for next to nothing and then that Way. Okay, where do you okay, order? Questions about, okay. Okay, where do you I order will, wedding roses from? So they are actually wooden roses, so they're made out of wood. Um, I have a website that I'll post when I post this. Uh -huh. um, when I post the video, I'll post the website where you can go and get the wooden roses. Okay. Oh, wooden. I thought good? you said wedding. <laughs> and it's good to like spray them with a little bit of, yeah. <laughs> yes. So you can spray them with a little bit of Mary Kay fragrance too. Ooh. And that way it's got, you can say, oh, you know, this is forever diamonds or this is, you know, your favorite, whatever your favorite. And then of course, referrals, you guys, referrals is the best way also to meet um, people and I'll, I'll tell you one thing um, that I heard recently and I've started using it a lot like we did a sharing appointment with Alana today and the girl is she's gonna need to be a little bit layered and so you know one of the things that I said to her is like okay well you know Grace Alana needs you know uh, you know she needs clients she needs consultants on her team, but she also needs connectors. And so as soon as I said that, she was like, oh my gosh, I've got a ton of people I could introduce Alana to. Like it was just like a different thought when I said she also needs connectors. And so think about those people in your life who are great, um, who are great connectors. Um, um, who are great connectors with other people, like whoever's got like a big friend base. And so even if it's people that you facialed or friends or whatever, and you haven't asked for referrals, there's nothing wrong with reaching out to them and just letting them know, hey, I'd like to gift some of your friends with a beauty experience. You know, who do you know? Who, go ahead, go ahead, Gracie. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I got the shock of my life this, this, this weekend. Um, I was laying in bed on Saturday and a lady I had been talking to that I've, you know, worked with, well, not really worked with, but we um, know, knew different peoples from when I was on an arsenal and stuff. And so she called and was like, hey, I really need um, some cleanser. And I'm like, okay. And so then it went from uh, a cleanser. I talked her into buying the whole um, 3D system. But I know that she's part of a, what do you call it, a? Um, it's not like, it's like an organization, maybe, um, you know, like if any of the Mary Kay sisters are like, you know, uh, with, co with colleges, like, a uh, what do you call a sorority? Sorority. sorority? Yeah. So sor sorority. Yeah. Or, um, some of the other groups that are like sororities out there would, would be great to kind of partner with. So that's absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I mean, just, it doesn't hurt anything asking for five or 10 people that they'd like to gift a little, uh, beauty experience to. And, um, so those were my six avenues of meeting new people. And, um, so what I'll do is 
course, I recorded our conversation tonight and um, I'm going to, I'll upload it and put it onto our Facebook group page. I'll put the website for our, for the place that you can order the roses. And then um, I will also put out there, there was one other thing I was going to put out there for you guys. It just left my brain. The roses, the, um, oh, Yes, I remember. Thank you, Gracie. You made me remember. Um, there's another video from a national sales director, and she's got oh, several yeah. different ways, um, specific ways. She's got some words for you. I'll put that video out there for you guys to look at as well. And so um, this week, the challenge in honor of Mary Kay's 56th anniversary is to go and get 56 new leads. And so you've got we just talked about six different ways. Brittany talks about seven different ways on her video. And so um, pick out two or three things that you would like to do. And even if you don't get the 56 leads this week, you know, getting those things put in place so that those leads are constantly coming in. That way you don't have to worry about who you're going to talk to next and how you're going to meet that next person. Oh, so you how know does something? that sound, you guys? That sounds great. Has anyone, um, I still have that scavenger list. Maybe that oh, would help everyone get yeah. their um, leads. Yeah, that would be amazing, Gracie. And maybe you can do a scavenger list and say, look, I'm, I'm trying to get 56 leads or yeah. something. You know? yeah. yeah, okay. Absolutely, meeting 56 new women this week that I, yes. can, I can do a little pampering with. So yeah, Gracie, if you can get me a copy of that, um, I can scan it in and upload it as a PDF onto our Facebook group page. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Boy, my battery's about to go right. out. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, we're wrapping it up. Fran, was there anything that you were getting ready to share? Um, I wanted to say for sure that although she don't sleep, I keep around in that bed. <laughs> been, in, been in like seven, eight different positions. She what? You, <laughs> say that again. <laughs> My internet. I was saying that Taylor, she moved, she's moving like. And her eight different I've been over here in that bed, and I hope she don't sleep that, that way. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's beautiful with her cat. I Uh -oh. Is Christy, are you still there? She's currently in a broken position, so. She's still in the mountains. We probably lost her. Okay. Wow. <laughs> we probably got to go back in action again. Well, okay, ladies, well, y'all have a great evening. Okay, I'm signing out. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. Hey, Fran. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm the only one. I was trying to find out. Stuck with me. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to leave too, but um, I, my internet. Yeah, we didn't let you. I'm sorry. I can barely hear you. Um,